right, he's got cardio for days, and he is as high level a wrestler as we have seen cross into this division in some time. Can do worse than having a high level wrestling base for mixed martial arts. Well, he wants the pace. It's the pace and the pressure. It's what separates the wrestlers from everyone else. It's an ability to go to those dark places, live in them, make those hard moments the best moments of your day. And when you get into the octagon, everything seems easier. This kid has an ability to operate in the darkness, operate the tough moments. He's gonna have to try and drown his opponent, drag him to those deep waters, and try to ensure that he can't compete with him. Yeah. I'm excited to watch this kid fight, John. Oh, mentally, he's just so forged, right? I mean, he'll chain takedowns, no discouragement if he doesn't get it. It's really a pleasure to watch high-level wrestlers perform when they're at their best. We'll see if he can be that here tonight. Should be interesting to see how it goes for him here tonight. I know you, as a high-level wrestler and Olympian yourself, are always curious to see guys who wrestled collegially on this level now apply their trade in the UFC. You know, you look at this guy and you think about his past. You think about his background, how he has been trained from his youth to be here. Even though he understood he wanted to be a mixed martial artist, his dad knew that he had to wrestle. And that wrestling took him through college and it leads him to the UFC. That is why you see him approach fights in the way that he does. It's been embedded in this kid. And if he can continue to evolve his entire mixed martial arts game to match his wrestling level, he's held on wheels. He's shown that to this point. And one thing he has focused on is being more active when he does get the fight to the ground. So perhaps we'll see an uptick in the ground and pound here tonight as this high level wrestler gets back to work. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, the All-American Chris Wyman. So Herb Dean, third man Perfect. in there for this one. Ready. No surprise what Sonnen will be trying to do stylistically in this matchup here tonight. He would appear to have the wrestling advantage. The question is how soon, though, will he be able to execute his takedown game? A uh, huge hit there from Chris Wyman. DC, that might be the same one that he landed on Anderson Silva in becoming the UFC middleweight champion several years ago. Not a weapon of Wyman's that you want to be hit with. We'll see if he can follow up. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now I'm looking for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, he's got him in the north-south. All right, setting up for a submission now. That Darce is tight. Tight submission locked in. Darce choke seems to be very close to being finished. He cannot get excited though. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Working from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Shale. Nice shot lands from the box. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your choke submissions. Oh, lands 
with the ground and pound strike. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Wyman's going for a choke. That Darce is tight. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Nice transition. He's got him flat on his back. There it is. Now he's going to mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Working out of the half guard here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Chael. Well, he's got his back now. Oh, nice headlock. He takes his opponent to his side to try to get the finish. Looks like his opponent's trying to turn into the choke here, but there's a lot of pressure. Pushed the elbow up, released the pressure, and turned his back down to the mat. Great job and great submission defense by this young man. Under two minutes in the first round. Wyman's back in full mount. He's got to be careful here. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, we're operating inside the closed guard now. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. The ground strike's starting to pile up. But at least staying busy on the bottom. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Another ground and pound strike lands. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and now an uppercut. Nice double change. Weidman getting worked over something fierce here by those hammer fists. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked. Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Good work from the top here by Summit. Round two is next. So there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held up. It was in tight. We thought the fight was over, but stayed patient, stayed calm, relaxed, and found his way out of that deep submission. You ready to fight? You ready? He's round two is underway. All right, so here we go. Next round is underway. It looked like eight more get finished by submission in the previous round. Close, but no cigar. Close, but no cigar. He's gonna have to do things differently if he's gonna submit this guy. Oh, nice jab by the All-American wide. Strong hook lands. Mike gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. 
Oh, gets the single leg takedown. Look at him, he said that with choke now. Look at that, he set it up. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. There's the top. Chris Weidman, you win by submission. What a performance. Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 51 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, the All-American Chris Weidman! So the former UFC middleweight champion Chris Weidman proving again that he is still among the true elites at 185 pounds. What a performance that was tonight. And he's a guy who we've known for some time, really has everything